Hello. So I did a build in The Sims 4 and I wanted to share it. So of course I had to do a wedding venue build for the release of the new pack, the My Wedding Stories pack. And I know the style is more uh, Mediterranean in the new world, but I wanted to do something a little different. Um, and so I did this sort of chateau style build. What actually started it was I was trying to look at different images for inspiration for a wedding venue and I ended up seeing some gardens from France uh, that like super well-kept amazing gigantic gardens and I was really inspired to build something like that because I was like I don't think there could be anything dreamier than getting married in that kind of place so I wanted to see if I could kind of make it happen with what we have in The Sims and I think I was able to. Um, so you can see the sort of shape of the build is coming together and this chateau style is um, kind of starting to take shape and all of that. Um, and this is actually some of my favorite parts of this build were the balconies um, that I added in. I wanted this build to have a lot of areas where your sims could take pictures um, and do like little photo shoot moments. Um, I thought that would be a fun aspect of gameplay, although I do know with the game being pretty buggy uh, after its release, I haven't tried it yet, I haven't done any of the gameplay, but from what I've seen and heard, it's still pretty buggy. I don't, so I don't know if you'll be able to add that in. Uh, trying to take pictures while you're trying to deal with a buggy wedding. Uh, but hopefully in the future, it will be something that we can do and it won't be so difficult to, <laughs> to figure out. Um, so I'm just about to start landscaping. I put down some train paint to give me a guide of what I wanted to do. And I will say because I the landscaping was more intricate than I was used to and also needed to be, I guess, more perfect than I usually do, um, I used a lot of the tool mod and I used that little hedge a lot. So I decided to cut a few bits and pieces out here and there uh, just because... I wanted to save you from having to see me do the same thing over and over again. So you'll see here, um, it's just a lot of copy and paste, but I think that those hedges really uh, kind of outlined the build really well. And once I saw that happening, I was really excited and I like this was kind of what I was hoping for with my vision of having like this really ornate garden. Um, for your sim to get married in. So you can see I skipped ahead. And so I'm going to fill in all the little uh, grass areas with different types of flowers. Because again, I was kind of basing it on uh, different uh, pictures that I was seeing. And of course, because this is supposed to be sort of French inspired, there is a lot of lavender um, because that was a lot of what I was seeing. So I was really happy with how all this turned out. And of course, I had to add in roses because um, from what I was seeing, there's also a lot of roses. So you might be wondering where the Sims are going to get married and why this area is a little different, but I actually sectioned off that very small area so you can have a very small wedding um, over here. Of course, the new walkway doesn't quite fit. Um, down here and actually what ended up happening, I started this build before the pack was released and I thought I was going to fill it in with the new items, but it actually ended up that I liked what we already had in the game. Um, so I didn't use any of the pack, um, but hopefully this will still work for you and uh, I mean, and maybe make it possible for those of you who didn't want to get the pack uh, to be able to use so I, of course, had to do landscaping at the front, and I'll quickly explain how I did this, this sort of circle with the tool mod. If you use that uh, rotate around center, 
you're able to rotate things in like 360 a circle. So you just have to rotate things by increments. So for example, in the front, I used an increment of eight and then I was able to get that to go all the way around into a circle and then I just deleted the hedges that I didn't need. So you can see I'm starting to build the inside of the build and this is definitely, even though the landscaping was pretty difficult, I found this to be pretty challenging because I don't usually build in the style and I didn't even necessarily know what we had in game. But I'm happy with how it turned out and trying to make it feel like a wedding venue was a little difficult, but I think I was able to. So I started with that entry table and I actually added that little book thinking like maybe that's where a guest would sign in or something along there, those lines. And then I wanted there to be a space where your Sims could all just relax and hang out. And of course, the bar fit in there perfectly. So I added that in. Um, and you can see I struggled so much with this mirror and actually off camera, I had to flip it around again and reposition it. But it's okay. I ended up working out just fine. Um, and this is actually... Not only was it a style I wasn't used to, but I'm not someone who has really, like, thought about what, like, my dream wedding would be. I never really wanted a big wedding, and part of that is, like, I guess I have a pretty big family, so I've already been to big weddings and um, been able to celebrate other people's marriages with my family, so... Uh, so I have really imagined what I would want, and looked into any kind of wedding planning, really. So trying to make sure there was spaces that would be needed um, was a little difficult, but I, I think I met the challenge and I was really happy with how that little DJ room ended up, the little dance DJ room ended up looking. And here I am going to the second story. And what I wanted was to make it so your Sims could have a space where they could get ready. Um, so you can see I do two different rooms for the two different Sims. And then I did want to make sure, of course, that there was a kitchen for your Sims to cook in just in case it was needed. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy with having the two different rooms for your Sims to get ready. And I thought that just would be a fun element of gameplay. Again, it might be a challenging addition at this point, but hopefully <laughs> in the future, um, it can be something maybe you use. Uh, so with that, I'm coming close to the end of the video. Um, let me know what you think of the pack and if you've been able to play it at all. Um, if you think it's been buggy for you or not so bad, um, let me know. I'm really hoping to get to some gameplay soon um, and to try it out for myself. So all that's left is to finish up the kitchen and in the kitchen I wanted to keep it pretty minimal and keep that black and white theme going throughout from the beautiful tile on the floor. So I just went with that base game counter and I actually think it looks great in this build. And of course since this is a French inspired build I wanted to bring in a copper element and so those hanging pots and pans uh, I think worked really well. And with that, I just got to add in a few finishing touches. And if you want to download this build, it's available on the gallery. My origin ID is Simmer Jess. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the new pack and hopefully you enjoy this build. Um, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.